often get confused between the difference uh, different AI agents developed using reinforcement learning and evolutionary algorithms. Both protocols are very similar. As you can see in this image, this describes them both, where we have an agent that does certain actions and uh, that impacts the environment around it by changing the state of the environment. And we can calculate the reward of this function. This it basically works the same way for both reinforcement and evolutionary algorithms. So, uh, you know, you might be confused about wh why you would implement one over the other. And that's why you should watch this video till the end, because this is a very important concept and something that a lot of people miss. Evolutionary algorithms are not based on gradient and uh, calculating the loss uh, using gradients. This can be very important because not every problem you come across can be transformed into a gradient based solution. And evolutionary algorithms will thus provide you a much greater they're much more flexible and can be worked in a variety of contexts. They're relatively straightforward to understand. They're, uh, the thought process behind them is not too difficult. And thus, you can easily understand and more importantly, easily log things because uh, they work on iterations. The process of starting with multiple candidate solutions also means that you have the gr a greater ability to traverse the search space and search for optimal solutions. Remember, Think, think about what happens if you have only one candidate solution. Can, it can possibly get stuck in a local minima and not work. But if you have a bunch of different candidate solutions, they'll all, it's very unlikely that every single one of them gets stuck in a local minima. Especially when you consider the fact that we have crossover and mutation that we use in revolu evolutionary algorithms, which further uh, will, will cause mutation and changes and make it even more unlikely that every solution always gets stuck in a local optima and never finds a global one. The flexibility, simplicity, and um, uh, but great performance allows EAs to be implemented in a variety of contexts uh, where you, we just want something cheap but eff effective as a maybe second, third layer, or maybe as a standalone procedure and adversarial learning, etc. I actually have a whole article on Medium called Why You Should Implement Evolutionary Algorithms in Your Machine Learning Projects. And I will link it in the comments below. I will read it if you want to understand more about this topic because it's very powerful. And unfortunately, lots of people getting into data science and machine learning don't uh, consider these uh, evolutionary based methods because they're too blinded by neuro deep neural networks, etc. On the flip side, RL agents also have a few distinct advantages. If we can transform our landscape, lost landscape into something differentiable, RL is extremely powerful. Our agents will be able to fit much more complex data just by the virtue of the fact that we can use very deep and complex neural networks in the evaluation process. This is not something that always works with evolutionary algorithms. In cases where every fraction of point of performance is crucial, re um, reinforcement learning will actually make the edge because, and we, uh, most importantly, we have the resources for this. RL will take the edge on the over evolutionary methods just because RL is going to give you that peak, peak performance, that 99.9% .9 performance that EAs might miss. Think of cases such as uh, self-driving cars or uh, any such vehicles, which are very dangerous, which you don't want any crashes or want any problems with it. In such cases, RL is generally your go-to and you will actually see this, where most self-driving cars and architectures use some form of re reinforcement learning in their a computer vision uh, pipeline. The RL agents can also will learn both the good and the bad instead of just learning the good. So if you to take a very simple example of a video game, evolutionary algorithm uh, final solution will just know what you should do in any given state to get the highest point. An RL method will both know the highest points and the lowest points. So in cases where these are both important to be able to take much better trade-off decisions, etc reinforcement learning can become crucial. We have a whole video uh, talking about reinforcement learning and how you should use it and what are the cases you want to consider, etc. to use it effectively. It will be linked, uh, it will be in the card up here or wherever. And it'll be linked also linked in the description and the comments below. Make sure you check that out to learn both. These are both very crucial topics that you must know about. Uh, you know, evolutionary algorithms were used by Google in their uh, self-evolving code that can solve a whole variety of contexts. It's actually a really cool paper. It's mentioned in my article. So, uh, and RL has been used in so many cases. They're both very powerful. And working with both would require a very strict, strict understanding of machine learning protocols, development procedures, etc. Like this video, subscribe, and follow me across social media to make sure you know about all of these ideas. Furthermore, if you want to support such great content, make sure you 
use my Robinhood referral link to give us both a free uh, stock in the free stock trading platform. It's a it's completely free. You don't need to put any money. There's no risk to you. So not using that link if you can is losing out on free money. And secondary, most importantly, you know, if you do want to support my content, hit hit the like button, share this video, drop down in the comments below what you want to learn about next, and uh, if you're uh, you know check out my Venmo and PayPal to donate some money. Donations will help you get access to special content, etc. That might be relevant to you. That's about it. Thanks for watching. Peace.